Providing the right nutrients for your lawn at the correct time in the right amount is essential for that health and vitality and that deep green color that we love. But you know, not all nutrients are the same. So in this video, we're gonna look at the most practical options to provide those nutrients to your lawn that are natural too. Now, first things first, don't automatically assume that you need fertilizer. The only way you're gonna know that is by doing a soil test. And the report will tell you if you're deficient or if you need to add fertilizer, and if so, what kind do you need and how much to apply. The primary nutrients needed by all plants, including lawns, is nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. But when it comes to judging the health of a lawn, we look at that deep green color, and we have nitrogen to thank for that. It's responsible for that top growth and that beautiful green color. So that's the nutrient we'll focus on most here today. Nitrogen is found in many natural amendments and fertilizers, but the quantity of nitrogen by volume will vary widely depending on what it is that you're applying. In addition, not all nutrient sources are practical for use for lawn applications, so we'll focus on the ones most commonly used to supply nitrogen to lawns. Perhaps the easiest and most effective natural way to provide nitrogen and organic matter to your lawn is by grass cycling. That's the term for returning the cut grass clippings straight back to your lawn as you cut. Some mowers, also referred to as mulchy mowers, are specifically set up with a special blade that cuts the grass clippings up even finer for faster breakdown and return of nutrients and organic matter into your lawn. Other mowers can be easily modified, usually with an attachment that converts your standard side chute or bagging mower into a mulchy mower, perfectly suited for grass cycling. The upside is that if you grass cycle, whenever you cut your lawn, you can reduce the amount of supplemental nitrogen your lawn needs by 30%. Compost, composted soil like this right here, and composted manure, all great ways to add nutrients to your lawn. And the benefit of composted products like this, you get billions and billions of microorganisms to help build that soil. And that's the main benefit of using composted products or all those billions of beneficial microorganisms to help go to work to improve your lawn at the same time. The downside is composted products like these are not as practical to spread in a home lawn scenario using a typical drop or broadcast spreader, but the worst case is a shovel and wheelbarrow will accomplish the same thing, or you can use a manure or compost spreader. Also, these composted products may still contain viable weed seeds if the composting process hasn't reached the temperatures high enough to kill the seeds and sourcing enough composted product to apply to your lawn may be hard to find and or expensive if you have to buy enough for full coverage. Corn gluten is another natural way to provide nitrogen to your lawn. Now, as the name implies, corn gluten is a corn byproduct, and it was originally created as a pre-emergent weed control for broadleaf weeds, but the added benefit is the inherent inclusion of 9% nitrogen by weight. So you get the benefit of killing off some of those lawn weeds and providing a nice source of natural nitrogen at the same time. Now that's the upside. The downside is this is a little pricey. This bag right here was over $50. So keep that in mind as you're evaluating your natural nitrogen solutions. Melorganite is an organically derived nitrogen source. Its slow release, non-burning properties make it popular and an effective choice used primarily as a lawn fertilizer. It's sold by the bag easy to apply and readily available wherever lawn fertilizers are sold. The nutrient ratio for melorganite is 640 by weight and also includes a small amount of beneficial iron, which helps cool season lawns deal with stress better. Phosphorus is the second of the three primary nutrients. It's very helpful in facilitating growth underground, so strong healthy roots are a key benefit of phosphorus. But in recent years, it's become less of a percentage of the total nutrient makeup of lawn fertilizers because in most cases, soils are usually already sufficient in phosphorus, such that you don't need to add it to the soil. Potassium is the third of three primary nutrients needed for overall plant health. In lawns, it helps turf to be more drought and disease tolerant and withstand stress better, such as cold tolerance. Potassium is usually only found, though, in lawn fertilizers that are marketed as winterizer, which makes sense considering that's one of its primary benefits. A soil test will indicate whether or not you need to increase the phosphorus level in your soil for your lawn, and if so, a slow release natural source of that would be a good option, and Melorganite makes that easy because their product contains phosphorus at 4% by volume. 
And if you have a need for natural potassium, you have three main options. The first is green sand, and that's derived from ancient former seabeds. The next is sulfate of potash. Now that's a granular soluble material that's fast acting, but it's a little on the pricey side. And last on the list, if you have access to seaweed in the form of dry kelp meal, well that is a great option because it releases quickly into the soil and it's full of organic nutrients.